Hi, I'm Jawale Willajo Zoller, and I'm founding artistic director of Urban Bushwomen and chief visioning officer of Urban Bushwomen. What I'm excited about in this configuration of Hair and Other Stories and Urban Bushwomen's evolution is that um, I have an opportunity to be in a role that I haven't really been in the company before. And when this work was first proposed to do hair stories, I was like, oh great, let's bring it back. Sam and Shannon have, as associate artistic directors, are the chief visionaries of this particular work. My role is now dramaturg, um, and it's, it's, it's really exciting to be in this different relationship to the creative process inside of Urban Bushman. My community, we help raise a child, full of purity, never been that side. Hair and Other Stories is actually part of a continuum of a movement that started in 2001. Um, at that time, Jowale Willa Josaler, alongside the company, conceived Hair Stories. And Hair Stories was comprised initially of some of the crazy stories that the company encountered being on the road and people saying, I know y'all must be something looking at their hair. And then also some of the things that the performers uh, myself being one, things that we grew up with as young black women um, and ideas and images that we had heard and internalized about our hair. Um, and so really this, this work is, is, is focusing on, on that. So, you know, each individual person has a story and they're coming into the space with the story. Um, and we really also want to invite um, the audience to bring in their stories as well and to examine, you know, examine how they're walking through life. You know, it, it's, it's like a little bit of like, this is, our practice. This is what we are doing and you have an hour and you know 15, 20 minutes to be inside of that and experience it and examine some things about yourself. And it's really it's also really about lifting everyone's humanity because we've all been dehumanized by the construct. And it's about understanding how we all sit inside of it. I think in creating hair stories, I knew that hair could be a lens by which to enter into this larger conversation around systemic analysis of racism. Who defines beauty? Who defines um, what is so-called good hair? Where does that come from? What is the history around that? And so what I'm really excited about in this work is they've pushed that further through our work with People's Institute for Survival and Beyond, uh, that we've had this long-time partnership. To see that very complex analysis of race take on an artistic dimension, not a lecture, we're at a time now where these crucial, uncomfortable, important conversations are at the forefront of our thinking, and I'm really proud that this team of Urban Bushwomen, Sam and Shannon, and these dancers and creators uh, and collaborators are pushing this conversation forward in their art making and in how they're sharing it with the audience.